and go try to valet. And valet it. <laughs> That's what's so great about it, valet. Welcome back to the Blue Way Show with Dwayne Bluestein and Miss Shelly Marie. That's me. What's up? All right, listen, we're going to get into this um, because you are already a star. Thank you very much. I mean, celebrity. I shine, I shine bright like a diamond. Bright. No, Rihanna made a song about me. What's the song called? Diamond. Wanna hear it? Here, Here it go. go. <laughs> <laughs> I want to introduce the domestic diva celebrity chef, Miss Shelly Marie. Can you tell me about this new television show that you have going on? Oh, that would be the Pantry Raid. Wow. It, it's pretty amazing. I know. Everybody says pantry raid, and they think of something completely opposite. Like, what do they think? Okay, they, when they say pantry mean, raid, what do they think? You think of panty raid. Like, no, it says pantry. No, I know, but panty. when you say it, you immediately think, most people think college, they think movies, they think pranks, they think funny, and they go there because it's, you know, whatever. But it's kind of like that, but different. It's with food. But it's a pantry. Pantry raid. So... I'm going to a selected person's home and okay. I'm raiding their pantry and I'm making meals, a meal, three. I have an appetizer, um, a, a main dish and a dessert. And the person invites their friends or family over and we have a party and I'm making something out of nothing and we're making memories at the same damn time. That's making memories. I yeah. love that saying making memories. Where did that come up from? Uh, that would be the man behind the machine. Wow. Yeah, he came up with that. Making memories. Mm -hmm. And that's what you guys do. I mean, you guys go around from place to place and just make memories for for different homes? I Absolutely. Mean I mean, we've done... Uh, the most recent one uh, was a girl named Emily, and she had done some remodeling to her house and she's from the islands and she wanted this island theme. So that's pretty much the, was the premise. That's all we knew. We showed up, picked some stuff out of her pantry. She invited a gang of folks over <laughs> and when i say a gang i mean it was more than i ever thought was actually going to show up it was a party it was a party so how can we see these um these shows well you can either go to my website which is domestic diva catering.com or you can go to facebook which is domestic diva diva catering az.com and uh, do you are they on youtube or by chance? youtube as well and you can subscribe to my channel and you'll get lots of fun stuff there's clothing there's videos there's there's a ton of stuff but it's it's a pretty amazing it's not your standard cooking show so a lot of people think oh it's a cooking show like i've seen this before there's nothing like this out there so and not just tooting my own horn <laughs> toot, toot. but i'm just saying it's what it's, are you saying it, it, it's amazing it's, it's fun it's, it's right. fun it's All amazing right. and everybody thinks they don't have anything in their in their pantry no way everyone's like i don't have nothing i don't know what we're gonna do and then i come in and i'm like oh not only are we gonna have some good food but we're gonna have a party at the same time and that's what's up i mean I, I've, I've been to a few of them yeah yeah i think all of them <laughs> but and what do you think i don't know i don't get to eat I, I mean, every time I get there, the food is already gone because everybody's eating 17 rices. <laughs> it's called being on time. Being on time. Yeah. Okay. Is, is, that being said, we are going to talk about this clothing. What is this clothing line that you have? Oh, we have everything. So you have hats, t-shirts, um, beanies, one of the favorite aprons. One of my favorite products so far is by far the beanie. The hat, because y'all that know me, everybody that knows me knows I love to rock a hat. And there's these little knee-high socks that are kind of sexy and kind of fun at the same time. And these, just, these are knee highs, like yeah, you, you but like old school with the stripe on them, like you know, old school Lakers. So are you NBA. a Laker fan? I'm definitely not a Laker fan. Don't be mad. But at you me. said Lakers. Because I'm thinking most people, you know what? You said Lakers, we're and in, you brought up Lakers, and we're not in L.A. You so know, we're, we're you not. You could have I could have said the Suns, but they ain't doing too hot right now, so they were oh, not so the first person. Oh, so you're weather fan. Okay. You know what? Because we're making memories about you talking bad about our home team. I would never do such a thing. I'm so from, why did you say I'm, Lakers? Why okay, couldn't you, know you say what? the Suns? We're going to talk about this after. Okay. After, we'll after talk after about that afterwards. Right. Three right. o'clock. Right. Me and you, dog. <laughs> me and you. Outside now. Outside. Boom. Outside. Outside. It's okay. It's mm -hmm. okay. So, I got security for your ass. Hold on. And she had cussed at me again. Okay. That is absolutely My amazing. Bad. So, you know, we'll go. So, Speaking um, of security. Please. You know who should have security? Speaking of like food and fun people. Who's that? Paula Dean. Paula Dean. Now, people are upset. Well, come on. Are, are, are you really upset with Paula? I mean, Am really? I upset that, at Paula? Really? Are you upset with Paula? 
Um, this is a. Can I say? Can I? Say, she is an older Caucasian female mm-hmm. in her 60s, 70s oh, years old. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. Growing up in the South. Growing up in the, the South, South mm-hmm. raised in the South. Her mama and her mama's mama, we ain't talking about mamas, but her mama, her mama's mama mm-hmm. and her mama's mama been saying that word. They own I think they own slaves. They might have. That's why she got has this look. So is it wrong of her that she, you know, has this mentality of what she was raised in? You know, you know, I don't really know what to say about that. Is is okay. Could you tell me that you haven't used a racial slur in your household? Well, yes, I can say we. I do not use <laughs> racial slurs in my household. That's correct. For myself and my family, I mean, we have little internal jokes and right. sl- slang terms that we use. But when I think about myself, I'm a very diverse person. So I have Hispanic family members. I have black family okay. members. I have white family members. So in your own culture, y'all call each other what you call each other. Right. Right. right? right. So for me to call one of my family something, you know, might be different from somebody that's raising all Caucasian family. But see, the the, the problem that I have is... She's an older Caucasian lady that is old. Right. She <laughs> and, gets, she doesn't get a pass for she old. What I will not to interrupt, but I am. Yes. Um. What I what I will say is she has enough people in her team to tell her what's right and what's wrong. But at the on the cuff, or when you're just sitting and talking amongst each other, some things just kind of slip out. And like, if, if for instance, we're we're on a radio show right now. If something were to slip out and it goes viral, then it's on us. Right. Well, but sitting around and not knowing that you're being filmed or being recorded mm-hmm. is very unfortunate because she is a star that has to be on guard all the time. Right. And that's unfair for somebody to have to be on guard all the time. Mm, Jesse. Okay, then let's, then, let's, then let's talk about Jesse then. Really? Jesse Jackson. Really? Jesse Jackson called the president. Yeah, oh, no. he did. I mean, he called he the president. And, and that's did. Jesse Jackson. And yeah. he's a black male that called the president this because that's word. just, yes, that is just something that just kind of slipped out because, you know. Because he was mad and hating. Okay, so Paula wasn't hating. She just it was part slipped of her up. Culture. It was part of her Well, culture. let's just talk about this. I think she has a long string. Like you were talking about your Aaron Hernandez guy earlier. She has a long stream of incidents. So she's planning a wedding that's a plantation-style wedding where there's a black-only bathroom where the blacks have to use a separate bathroom. She's <laughs> that's got, funny. That is funny, it's, though. It's, 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 it's kind of funny. She's got the lighter-skinned black people working the front of the house and the darker-skinned black What do we call skin. them? We, we call them the house. Uh, the house niggas, yes. <laughs> <laughs> they are. Well, that's what they were called. But she's got this whole thing. She's got sexual harassment suits with right. every, anybody that knows Paula Deen. And I'm a Paula Deen, was, am, kind of still a Paula Deen fam of her work. It's like if you want to compare, you know, alleged Michael Jackson or alleged R. Kelly, like all these incidents that they had, but that doesn't take away from the talent that they put on the table, that who they are. Okay, so you say that we but don't give security. her a pass. No, hell no. No, no pass. pass. Hell no, we won't go. We, we, no, because so somebody should have told her. She's a multi-million dollar entertainer. She's a brand. She she's a brand. brand. She's she got, brand. and I'm waiting for all that stuff to go on sale. So if y'all see it on sale, please hit me up on Twitter or on Facebook. On Twitter, Facebook. When yeah. I'm going to give them to her, what is it? Dom Diva <laughs> Catering. <laughs> so we're on the Blue Way show with Dwayne Bluestein and Miss Shelly Marie talking about Miss Paula Dean. Now we, I, I really want to switch to your future projects. What do you have going on? Oh, I have tons of stuff going on. Let's see here. I have the um, the pantry raid and the make your memories pretty much every month, usually around the fifteenth of the month. I have a a catering a huge gig for Lynn Richardson. She's got a play mm-hmm. coming up, and I'll be doing the casting. Um, pre party for that. That is the mean lady. The mean lady. Thank you very much. The mean lady. Yeah, that's gonna be. I, you know what? I read some of that. And Did it's you? Actually, it's freaking hilarious. Did you know that I was in it? I didn't know, but now that I know, I am in it. I'm, I'm Jay. You're Jay. I'm. I you're am, Jay. I am the. I am. The one. I'm the see? friend. I'm see? the friend. I'm the friend of somebody. You know, I, when I didn't get the main part, I was like, mm, whatever. No, yeah. I'm joking. Lynn, I'm so joking. Yeah, he playing. So He's so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. But 
Um, yeah, the mean lady's going to be coming out. And, and that's September 22nd and 23rd. Correct. 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 Okay. And then the 21st is going to be the casting party that you're that, taking care of. That what I, I will be doing that. Okay. I'm super stoked. I'm super stoked. I would tell you the location. However, I think it's invite only. Um, but y'all know I'll hook you up. So please hit me up. <laughs> Tom David Catering on Twitter. Boy, she be plugging. Ah! She be plugging that domestic diva catering. So you said that you have a tasting coming up when? I do. It's going to be this Saturday, which is the, help me please with the date. I'm that would be the 13th? The 13th. 13th. That would be your event. That's my event. Right. Exactly. Okay. I do a lot. Okay. okay. So mm -hmm. sometimes I get a little scattered. My personal assistant is not with us today. You know, so you have a personal assistant I do, too. I do, I do. Her wow. name is Siri. <laughs> Siri, Siri. How do I get to the to the studio on time? Yeah, Siri. But I'm I'm excited. It's a Moroccan theme. I don't know what's gonna be there. It's for CC Peniston. She came back from Africa and she's like she's a little bit lightweight, upset that she hasn't been selected as one of the. Uh, how do you get selected by a chance? Uh, you would send an email and a letter and say why you want to be. Selected. Selected. And what does that entail? I mean, how do you're I get just selected? Writing, you're writing a letter about whatever your personal story is and what you want and why you feel that we, you know, you want to use domestic diva catering and or are, are ready for a pantry raid. And then we take... It's not you, a panty raid. It's a pantry raid. We just want to make sure that everybody understands it's not a panty raid. However... Fellas! Oh. <laughs> it could be a... Penny raid, but we're going to stick with the pantry. Yeah, keep it PG. Raid. See that? Panty, pantry, eating food. Ooh, 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 ooh. that is so close. I know, it's so close. But it is food porn, and that's what I've learned. It's food porn. Now, the great thing about it is I am going to learn how to cook because, you know, I make a mean peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I know. I know. You get you off know? the crust. Oh, uh, listen, I can take off the crust because it's depending on the bread. You know, it's, it's the bread is the key. The bread is the key. The bread is key. So if you have the right bread mm -hmm. and you just put the peanut butter in it, can't. All right, we don't. I love We're peanut butter and jelly because I don't know how to cook, but I got Miss Shelly Marie that's going to teach know what? me how to cook. Next segment, I'm going to come up with three different variations of peanut butter and jelly for you. How about for that? For me to, and I'll, and I'll yes, do it right here on the show. For you and the rest the of show. everybody else. I'll yes. do it right here on the show be and be able to cook it for everybody, and I will make sure that everybody has a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Oh, yeah, we're going to pimp this out to the fullest. She's pimping. She's peanut butter and peanut jelly. Butter and jelly. Peanut she's, butter jelly. Peanut butter jelly. Peanut butter jelly. Now, so... This Moroccan theme that's coming yes. up, does, what do they have to wear? Uh, Something Moroccan-ish. What is that? Look, I looked at that and what I was what'd like... What did you say? It's a lot of layering. It's a lot of color. It's a lot of, you know, it's a, I don't know. It's a lot of... I told people... It's kind of African, is kind it? of Eastern, Middle Eastern. I said I dream of genie. I dream of genie. That's I said I up. dream of genie and Aladdin. Aladdin. Because I love there Aladdin. Yeah. I mean... I love Aladdin. You know I love what? the you, cartoon. You got it for the the, the dark haired girls. Yeah, with the, oh, mm -hmm. dark hair, you know, just yeah, and a little bitty waist. Oh, I know, little, I know. Can't be mad at. So. Okay, so focus, focus. Uh, I almost lost myself. So um, this is the Blue Way with Dwayne Bluestein and Miss Shelley Marie. Thank you for joining us, and we have just introduced the domestic diva herself, Miss okay. Shelley Marie. Look at her; she is I and know. follower. On, oh, uh, Twitter is Dom Diva Catering, uh, Instagram DD Shelly Marie, Facebook Domestic Diva Catering A Z, baby, boy, son, nephew, all that, boom, all of that. Sorry, all of that. Got I mean, carried away. All, all, all of that. So we will be back 